Let's continue solving the YC 2022 Elective Mathematics Paper 2, Further Mathematics Paper 2. We are going to continue with question 13. The table shows the marks out of 10 in the class test in English and Mathematics of a sample of 10 students selected at random from a class. Draw a scatter diagram of the data. If the mean of x is the mean of x and y bar is the mean of y find x bar and y bar so let's continue let's start from here we will we will get a graph sheet and plot this point so let's get a graph sheet and draw the axis for x and y we plot the point so you know how to plot points already to plot the point three four you locate three on the x axis and trace it to where it will meet four on the y axis so trace this and trace this they'll meet here so that is how you plot the point then to plot the point three six it will meet here then to plot the point four five four and five will meet here then five and four will also meet here so six on the x and 6 on the y will also meet here so these are the points you continue in that order to plot all the points then the next thing you're going to do now is to calculate the mean of all the x values so you add all the x values and divide by the number of values that are there that will give us 5.8 then the mean of x values you add all the x values and divide by 10 that will give us 6.8 so we are going to plot this point after plotting this point uh, 5.8 6.8 which is somewhere here somewhere here what you are going to do is that we'll find all we'll find the mean of all the x values to this side so all the mean of all these x values and the mean of all the y values so that will give us x by 1 and y by 1 then after that we find the mean of all these x values that will give us x by 2 then y by 2 so that's what you're going to do next x by 1 will give us the x values here this plus this plus this plus this all divided by 4 that will give us 3.75 then all the y values there we add them 4 plus 6 plus 4 plus 4 plus 6 plus 5 so that will give us 4.75 when we divide by 4 to so repeat the same process for the x2 and the y2 x bar 2 and the y bar 2 so we find all the mean of these x values here and we find the mean of all the y values here that will give us these values so we plot these points so we have three set of points that we are going to plot these are plotted in the red ink so this is the the mean the means 5.8 6.8 then we have 7.2 8.2 which is here then we have 3.8 7.8 which is here 3.8 4.8 which is here so we draw a straight line through all these points that will give us a line of best fit so we have to find the equation we have to find the equation of the line of best fit and use it to predict the possible mathematics max of a student who scored seven in english so we pick the points we pick this point this point over here and this point to find the equation of the line of best fit so 
everything is x2 y2 x1 y1 then we get a gradient to be y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 which is what is given as here then the equation of the straight line is given by y minus y1 equal m which we get from here um, over x minus x1 so that will simplify to give us y equal x plus 1 so when we have an English score an English score of 7 so you put x equals 7 and y will be equal to 8 therefore the mathematics mark of a student who scores 7 in English is 8 that is the possible mathematics mark